Hi, I'm Matt Clare from the Center for Pedagogical Innovation. I'm here to share the process of importing the questions in a assessment that was originally delivered in Sakai, in Brock, at Brock University Sakai Instance, that's been subsequently imported into Brightspace, and show how those questions, which were inside what Sakai called a question pool, can be delivered in Brightspace, in what Brightspace would ultimately call a question pool, but though the effect is the same, the terminology and the steps are different. So I'm going to take you through those steps. I believe that these are simple steps for the person that knows how, but not all intuitive ones. That's why I'm making this video. Professor Liu was kind enough to share with me his course, which we're looking to in Sakai right now, because I think it's really representative. We'll, of course, be blurring some of the details to make sure that we're not giving away the answers to some interesting assessments. Let's get started. So while we have Sakai available for a reference, here it is. Here's the Sakai site. We have five quizzes. And if we jump into the edit in Sakai, you'll note that we have question, three question parts that are being, for quiz one, three questions that are being drawn from what Sakai calls question pools. In Sakai, question pools move with the instructor across the LMS. It's been very useful for Brock University to have this practice, but it is unlike other LMSs, including Brightspace, where the collection of questions move with the course content. So, with that in mind, let's jump into Brightspace. This is HOSC 3P07. We're going to work with quiz one. Inside HOSC 3P07, Professor Liu has been kind enough to share his login with me. And here is his Sakai reference content that's been converted from Sakai. We don't need Sakai for this other than knowing what our expectations are, but we do have converted content brought in auto created from Sakai brought into Brightspace. So in this case, we're going to jump into the quizzes. And here are all of those quizzes. But um, as we look at these actual quizzes, you'll notice that what was three questions inside Sakai are 25 questions inside Brightspace. This is because to preserve the actual questions through this transition from a very one context to a very different one, all of the qu questions in Professor Liu's question pool got dumped into the quiz just to make sure that these questions that would stick with the instructor otherwise in Sakai came into Brightspace. This is the part that requires the extra steps to make these particular quizzes work inside Brightspace. I'm pleased to say that we do have instructions. You'll see linked with these materials and how you can do this step by step. Let me take you through it as I would uh, practice it for this one. So inside the imported Sakai reference site inside Brightspace, we're only working inside Brightspace for task. So inside Brightspace, inside the Sakai reference site, in the quizzes area, and in the questions library, we are going to import the existing questions into the library. So I choose import and browse existing questions. Because I'm in the Sakai reference site, I can see the five quizzes involved in this course offering. And I can see the questions, all totally 28, that were associated with quiz one which again are uh, broken up in Professor Lu's practice into the types of questions, which makes for a great example for us. So we want to make these available to the current offering of this course and the current offering of quiz 3P07. So inside this Sakai reference site, we're going to select our multiple choice questions associated with that quiz one, choose to import, there's our multiple choice questions. Uh, otherwise, ready for next steps, except that we're not going to know that these are the ones that came from quiz one unless we add uh, HOSC 3P07 quiz one 
multiple choice. And we'll save that into our library. There is our first uh, collection added to our library. We'll import the next ones for that quiz. So again, importing, browse existing, making sure in this source area that we are dealing with the quiz that we expected to. This time we'll bring the numerical questions. Import. There they are. I'm not going to remember what exactly numerical questions those are, so I'm going to edit them and give them a title that will help me know exactly which numerical questions those were. And now I'll import the last types of questions associated with quiz one by import, browse existing questions, select those true and false questions from quiz one, almost made a very easy mistake. Source quiz one, true and false, import, there's my true and false questions. I'm going to rename them for quiz one, true and false. So I'm going to continue these steps for the remaining quizzes in this course. I suspect we'll speed up the video. Okay, we've now built up our question library to include these sets of questions of each type for all five quizzes. We've done the part of pulling them out of the quizzes that the conversion from Sakai dumped them into just to make sure they all arrived here. Now that they've arrived here, we've pulled them into the library. Remember, once they're in a library in Brightspace, unlike Sakai, that library of questions moves with the course content, not the instructor. So the next step is to move into Professor Liu's upcoming offering of HLSC 3P07 and import this library into that course. Here we go. Here's Professor Liu's upcoming offering of HLSC 3P07 and we're going to choose from the cog at the top right to import contents. I'm going to search for 3P07. Um, knowing the code on the other side is unfortunately the only way to definitively know which of these similarly titled course offerings uh, we were working in. An unfortunate symptom of trying to smash two LMSs together. I do know that this is the final entry and the most recently added um, site. So this one will have the library we're looking to import. So we're all set up to the import. Um, potentially you might want to copy all components, but more likely we want to select specific components. And Professor Liu was indicating to me that he only wants the question library. He had the option to import things like course contents, uh, but only the library, the rest can be reconstructed, which sounds great. We'll continue. There's no dates to amend, so let's kick off this import. All set. So now, in the formal offering of this course, inside of its quizzes, we should find that question library we just constructed from Sakai contents. Now, Professor Liu's uh, offering, or assessments in this real offering of his course, we can build a new quiz. Quiz one. And another important difference between how Sakai works and how Brightspace works. I'll focus, of course, on how Brightspace works. If we would like to take a set of questions and draw from that as a pool to give students a different uh, sequence, at least, of questions, we can do that through Create New Question Pool. Inside our question pool, um, 
we can choose our, I believe it's numeric. No, let's go with default questions. I believe we're asking for four and giving one point each and inside a question library. Their quiz one, multiple choice pool of nine questions. So I'm set this up to randomly draw uh, four. I believe that's what Professor Lou is looking for. Uh, he will be the ultimate authority on that. Hit save. And there's his question pool drawing from his new question library inside Brightspace. That question library, he watched me import and convert it into a library inside Brightspace. I'll do it for the two next format of questions for this quiz. Question pool. Uh, true and false. Let's assume four, one point each. False. Save. And then for our last pool, which I believe is numeric questions. I'm going to assume four, one point each. Quiz one, numeric, numeric call. And then the rest of these questions will, uh, the rest of the quiz are the basic sayings that are relatively intuitive inside of Brightspace. So that's the process of taking what were questions being randomly drawn from a pool in Sakai, of encountering them in their converted state inside Brightspace, which as demonstrated takes your larger pool that you may have only taken a subset from and just puts all of them into that quiz to make sure you get them. Inside Brightspace, we don't have the same structure of a pool of questions that follow the instructor. We have a library with some sets of questions which moves course to course. So what I did was I imported those questions into the Sakai Reference Sites library. Once they're all now in the library, in the site to site import as we will become accustomed to with Sakai, with Brightspace, pardon me. And once that was done, constructed the quizzes just like they were in Sakai in the new Brightspace site. Simple for the person that knows how, but not at all intuitive, and certainly with a lot of complexities along the way. You're more than welcome to reach out to the CPI at edtech at if you have any questions along this process, and thank you for watching.